Now to a traffic alert to start preparing for this road hazard on Santa Fe Drive will be repaired this weekend, but it means a considerable detour for tens of thousands of drivers. Marshall Zellinger is live at Santa Fe in Oxford where Santa Fe will be closed all weekend, Marshall. And that closure is going to be from Union behind me over to here at Oxford. In between is this railroad crossing that is uh, going to cost just shy of one million bucks to fix. 70,000 drivers a day utilize this stretch of road, and it's going to be closed in both directions to fix the rubber that's sticking out of the road. Sometimes you hit it just right, it feels like you hit a curve. Keith Cologley knows the impact of the train tracks at Santa Fe and Oxford been kind of a, a a little known about hazard around here for a long time. He's assistant manager at the Peerless Tire just south of the railroad crossing and has replaced tires damaged by the uneven surface. It happens at least probably once or twice a month visibly where we know that it comes from those tracks or the pavement over there by the railroad tracks. To repair this railroad, CDOT will close this stretch of Santa Fe in both directions, starting at 10 p.m. Friday until Monday morning. CDOT's recommended detour southbound involves getting off at Hamden, taking Federal to Bellevue, then back to Santa Fe. So we're going to drive it and time it. It should take about three minutes without a detour. Instead, we're west on Hampton for about one mile to Federal, where it's a one-lane turn to go south, another left turn arrow to get to Bellevue, and back to Santa Fe. 10 minutes and 42 seconds, and that's without fighting with other cars taking the same detour. When we took the detour back north, it took exactly 10 minutes. When we highlighted this hazard in July, CDOT told me the railroad was responsible for the major or for the uh, cost of fixing it temporarily, but I found out today that this permanent fix, the majority of that cost will be by CDOT. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.